After wrapping up our time in El Nido, we have made it all the way over to Boracay, and unfortunately, the weather has not been on our side on this beautiful island. But good news, we have our friends Greg and Jumi who have made it all the way over from Cebu with us, and with this bad weather, we thought it would be the perfect time to bring them back into our lives and have another amazing opportunity to try some local Filipino food. So we're super excited about that because we're gonna see the non-touristic side of Boracay with them. We're gonna start with a fried quail egg called Quek Quek. Hope Jumi's gonna correct me if I mispronounced it, but this is one of those things where even like the local taxi drivers are coming up, grabbing one as a snack and let's go get eating. So who's ordering? Am I ordering oh. or you're ordering? Well, you should order. Yeah. Do you like this? Quack quack? Okay. It's good? Okay. Salamat. <laughs> of course, Gokchi is going to do the honors. We're holding like together. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first street food in Philippines. Yes. All right, I'm going to try because I don't want it to get cold. Hot, right? Hot. Is this sauce like sweet? Yeah, I think it's sweet right. sauce. I don't want to drop the outer shell because I want to eat together. No. It tastes like egg. <laughs> but the outer shell is a little bit sweet. I think it's just kind of like giving the batter. sweet a little batter and then crunchy on the outside, but I can't really differentiate it from my regular egg honestly. No. 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 Traditionally, it's like smaller than this. As a kid, this is like our traditional, really, childhood street food snack. So you can really see it, especially in the city, they can see it everywhere. This is a little bigger, but still quite quick. Quite quick. <laughs> Go ahead, Steve. Am I getting the bigger piece? What? It's up to you. Thank you for holding yeah. it, by the way. No problem. <laughs> Such a hospital. Girl, I didn't get the yolk see. part either, but yeah. No, just take it, take it. Definitely take it. I'm gonna do it with my. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Sweet. A little crunchy because yeah, it's fried. I mean, I could easily see eating one of these by myself, but of course we're sharing because sharing is caring. It's pretty good. And I just love eggs, so, you know, I'll always go for one of these any day right on the street. That's pretty awesome. This is another traditional merienda or snack. So during afternoon, so this is banana cube. Banana, sugar coated with sugar. <laughs> Duh. Like caramelized banana. Caramel. Well, this is what you were kind of talking yeah. about, right? Greg had already kind of told me about that, but he's excited too. Yeah, this one's fresh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. Um, how much is it? 15 pesos. Okay. Oh my God. Look yeah. at this. How are we going to eat this? <laughs> There's two sticks in here to support both of the bananas that have been deep fried, basically. Mm. Holy cow. And it smells so good. I want to oh eat my the small God. one. You can have the big one. Would you like to go first then? Yeah, I'll go first. It's a lot of calories today. I'm not going to be happy, after, gonna, but I'm happy now. We're going to go run on the beach later. <laughs> well, look at the steam coming out of that. Oh, Holy wow. Holy cow. It's so good. I love bananas. Oh, guys, hot. Be careful. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I go for this sooner than the quail egg, and we get like ridiculously chunky off of eating this all day, every day. What an amazing snack! Wow. Yeah, it's not the regular banana that you just eat. There are so many types of bananas. Yes. But the one that people actually consume on a daily basis is actually one of them. Yeah. It's the most frequently consumed one because mm, the one that everybody mm, likes the yeah. most. But this is a different one. Another, I guess, banana from the banana family. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. Holy crap, Greg, your stick is really uh, crooked, my man. <laughs> oh, <that's> she said. <laughs> I love how crispy it is on the outside. It's, it's ripe banana, too. I'm gonna finish this and then give the rest to Steve, and we'll walk a lot. Maybe we'll run on the beach. Jumi <laughs> was like, you have to try it. So <laughs> showing them my yes. classic local favorite Yeah. Nice meeting you. Bye. 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 <laughs> We're trying to move. Let's go. It's more. I love how this walkway is covered with sand. It feels like you're completely walking on the sandy beach, but you're actually on the walkway. Sideway. Whatever way it is. So, Biko, this is sticky rice. Sticky rice. This is sticky rice flour. What? Ube, remember ube? We had to have the holo oh, yeah, for a while. Yeah. And this one is um, bochi, okay. but that's sesame seeds. Why don't we get one of each and four of us will share? Yeah. Isa, Isa, Isa. <laughs> Salam. 
<laughs> good job, good job, thank good you, job. Thank you, learning. Finally, we can see some sunlight today after the pouring rain earlier. And now we're gonna try this delicious snack that Jimmy picked for us. So this is the sticky rice. And what is this made of? Uh, rice. <laughs> rice, of course, and probably brown sugar. And it's served on a banana leaf. Really. Yeah. Really authentic. I don't Try know it. how to properly eat this, so I'm just gonna bite it. Bite it. Oh, like, bite? Yeah, bite. Okay. Like, nope, of course not bite the banana. I'll just take a piece maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Because I want to shave it. You guys. Pretty good. It's not too sweet to the point that it overwhelms you, but it's sweet enough that it could be consumed like a dessert. Feeding my man with my own hands. <laughs> if we had to rank the snacks that we've had so far today, this would right now be in last place. It's very plain. The banana and even the quail egg were really delicious, and this is just not my jam. <laughs> I'm just going to feed me. <laughs> I see. I see what you mean in there. It's not in my expectation. It's supposed to be a little sweet, but it was not that sweet. This one's a little bit bland. Bochi. 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 Yo. I like the sesame seed smell. It reminds me of smit, and I love smit. And if you don't know what smit is, go. Well, you should watch our Turkish street food video. Mm. Oh, Ooh, interesting. what's in there? I have no idea. You didn't know <laughs> I was about to ask you. <laughs> I don't know. The bochi that I'm so used to is is straight like this, filled with white thing. I'll eat Steven C. I li I like it though. Wow. It's a lot sweeter than I thought it was going to be. I don't think it's egg. Let's see, Greg knows the deal. Let's see what he's going to say. <laughs> going to be Greg now too. <laughs> it might be sweet and salted egg. I don't know. It has that kind of flavor. I just love it. But I'm not sure. Smell. I like, yeah, the sesame is really nice and chewy like texture. I the smell of the sesame seed. I just love, love, love sesame. The chewy texture is really nice though. I know, right? Yeah. Really interesting. By the way, this is Travel Interessante slash Gokche feeds everyone. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to continue like this, I guess, for the rest of today. Oh man, look at this. This is like a... It looks so beautiful to the point that I don't even want to eat it. Is it? Sapin Sapin. Isa, Isa, Isa. Sapin Sapin Salamat. Okay, so now... Gokshi <laughs> <laughs> right, is gonna... practicing to stay, I think. Okay. It's very sticky. It looks like a jelly. Like bloodless rice. Straight purple. There's literally no smell. Okay. Yes. Which I wonder is well, interesting. What should be my expectation? Sweet, it's salty. So middle ground. Middle ground. Okay. Should I bite into it? Is that too? Should I... <laughs> it's... It's a lot of emotions on your face. It's stickier than the sticky rice. And once you start chewing, it's hard to move your teeth. That's like how sticky it is actually. But I really like it. All right. I'm going to let Greg try this time. Oh, okay. there's any Malaysian viewers here. This reminds me right away of Koi. Just like the sticky rice, probably coconut milk, let's see. Oh yeah, I get more of the ube flavor. I oh taste like coconut milk too. I like it really stretchy. Look, it's still sticking <laughs> my finger. Oh god. No, there's one little side that now. I don't uh -oh. touch. Yeah, yeah, I'll That's eat it. it. I don't lie. That's all you. Oh my god. Show some emotion, boy. <laughs> I don't know what emotion to show. It's like I'm eating the color purple. You could be like the Turkish ice cream vendor just like screwing with people. With yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the banana cue was a freaking winner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh man. Banana phenomenal. is phenomenal. That was our I'm winner. I'm so glad you guys are down to have this traditional local Filipino snack. I loved it. I loved it. It's such a cool way. But I think we're going to leave off for here today because this amazing sunset has poked out from behind the clouds. First time since we landed here that we're seeing sun. So let's go enjoy that and we'll, uh, you know, pick up at another time. All right, we're gonna start our day, of course, with some coffee. And we're lucky because apparently Greg and Jumi also love drinking coffee. And we didn't know, but in Philippines, apparently coffee culture is huge. They actually have their own local beans. So we came to this really cute local coffee shop that Greg found out about. And they are so friendly. They even offered us some coffee beans. And now we're gonna try and taste their delicious coffee. I got ice latte, right? Yes, you do. Okay, all right. It's delicious. Steve got some light roasted, I believe. Light, yeah, light roasted, light roasted beans, beans for me. Without a milk, I would understand the origin of Filipino beans taste better. Maybe I should try Jumi's coffee. 
If she's okay with that. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, I think she got medium or dark roasted, right? It was like. This is light Yours also? is light? Yeah. Oh my god. Even though this is not dark or medium roasted, this is light think, roasted. Yeah, you have, have the, the same. same and it, it tastes it tastes actually very strong. But yeah. I prefer it with milk. <laughs> That's me. I always thought that the darker the darker it is, more same, stronger. Same. It is. It's light roasted, it's more happy. Like that's the kick. It's such the a The lighter it way. is, <laughs> the more kick it is. But the darker it is, the less kick. But it's more fragrant, the darker. I didn't even think that Philippines actually had their own coffee bean. Which is so sad because we really have great coffee. I mean, come and think of it. Latin America, they have good coffee, great coffee. And we have, like almost share the same kind of tropic weather. Yeah. But let's say for example, Southeast Asia even. Like yeah. Vietnam has great coffee. Thailand has like amazing coffee. So it's both these and I love Filipino coffee. After having our coffee, Jumi and Greg said it's time to dig into some Filipino breakfast and trying out Silog for the very first time here in a local side of Boracay, which is actually pretty cool. And we got a top Silog, which is going to be beef. So then Gokshi, of course, decided to get a whole big plate of what's called Bihon, which is Jumi. That's so, frying glass, you know. Okay. So like not exactly like Yamun Sen in Thailand, Jumi was explaining, but I mean, it looks delicious. It was a lot bigger of a portion than Gokshi and I were expecting. So hopefully Greg and Jumi help us with this delicious looking food. The Silog is just the garlic rice and the egg itself. So I'm going to start out with that. Like, this is so good. I love eggs. I feel like the rice is a little bit on the dry side. Uh, I'm gonna let the expert just confirm that I'm not like mistasting this. Jimmy, we're gonna show your uh, taste your the rice. On this. Additionally, silog is fried rice that's left over from the night before, like our dinner. So in the morning, we make it into like a fried rice, sinangag. And the egg is, of course, available, so we add egg. And then whatever still we want something else, then there's either beef, fish, or anything else. Because Very you know, it's the Philippines, there's always leftover rice. Yes. <laughs> so we don't want to waste the rice, so that's what we're going to end up doing. Fry in the morning. What is this? This place is called Debans, La Paz, Bachoy, and Tapsilogan. So they're probably more known as La Paz Bachoy. I'm assuming this is going to be a garlic beef soup. Why don't you add that garlic soup on the garlic rice? Yeah, go for is it. Is that what I'm supposed to do? We can do that. Okay. It definitely brings out the garlic flavor of the rice a little bit more. Still, I've had better rice here in the Philippines. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so I have them all together in one spoon. So I chew in forever because the meat is super chewy. So it is like a jerky. 10 minutes later. <laughs> this is how we're supposed to eat it, Steve, because now it tastes so much better. Okay. I'm not a huge egg person, but I liked it. But I was totally not expecting the bihon to be That's that. It's a massive plate. <laughs> so much food. It is yeah. massive. It looks delicious. And it's delicious. <laughs> yeah, it looks delicious now. Apparently, there are two types of bihon, either as a soup or a dry. I actually picked this one because just seeing this remind me of Yamun Sam. I am very excited again right now. We also put some kalamasi on top of this because it's dry and now it's going to be a little bit just up with the kalamasi. And I absolutely love kalamasi. Whew, I can't talk anymore, I really need to get in. I am gonna try it with the spicy sauce. I put it on the side because I wanna make it like adjustable spice for Steve because, you know, I'm a little bit crazier than him. Mmm, I can get that spicy taste. Immediately in my mouth actually right now. I really miss the glass noodle. It is so good. It's definitely absolutely different than Yamusan, just like Jimmy said. I love it. I legitimately love it. Steve is gonna be like, are you gonna be sharing that with me or Yeah, I'm sorry, did you want some? Um you know. <laughs> I don't know classic, you were hungry. <laughs> classic goat Jay always stealing my food. <laughs> That's true. That's actually true. I'm gonna share it with my friends though. Not, Not Steve. She's gonna make Steve. Oh, <laughs> my friends. Greg and Jumi. Guys, dig in. This is really, really good. We're gonna have Food and Footprints approval on this. Gotta spice this up a little bit. That chili sauce is no joke. Yeah, but I think I put a little too much. Yeah, <laughs> that's really good. I like it though. It awesome. really adds something to it. I'm not used to eating bihun or pancit with like that much chili on it. I like that though. Jimmy, tell us how you really feel. This 
has flavor. It has like limey and with scallions in there. Mm. And let's finish this up. And guys, we have so much more eating coming up today. Can't wait. So this is Palot, Steve. Duck embryo. So it's 70 days, meaning it's not fully grown into duckling, but there's a little bit probably of duckling in there. But it's a classic and iconic nighttime snack. I'm really a little bit worried right now. Jumi has picked out ours though, and it's like a like. Am I supposed to just break it open and just mark to where should we open it? Because it has to be where the mold embryonic fluid. So I'm just gonna like yeah, suck it out for lack of a better way to say. Zip it, zip it, zip it. Oh, it's like warm. Mm. A little salty. That's so, <laughs> so strange, man. This is such an odd thing to eat for me. There's no food in the US, obviously, like this at all. The juice is tasty, but it's such a, oh my god. Eat the entire thing now. Like whole. Whole thing. Good luck. Go for it. I didn't think about it. Go, Steve. Go. More, more, more. <laughs> That's really good, but it's so freaking weird, man. It really is. All right, so this is definitely our choice and not Greg and Jumi's choice, but we had to do it while we were here in the Philippines, and it seems like everybody is here right now. This is, of course, the Filipino famous Jolly Bee, and we cannot wait to, of course, check it out for the first time ever. This is, of course, the most local of Filipino foods, but when in the Philippines, you try Jolly Bee. Oh wow, it's really happening, huh? Okay. I've never seen Jimmy this excited. <laughs> Greg, we're gonna, what, share a bucket of chicken? Hey. Yeah, and get chicken's some, a must. Any yeah. other like must that we have to have here? I think you gotta try spaghetti. Uh, though she was an Italian, uh, it's kind of crazy, yeah. not spaghetti yeah. you used to, but you gotta try it, because this unique. Okay. Peach mango pie, a must. And Jolly Bee is taking over the freaking world. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we got more coming. Jolly Gigantic beef, oh my god. Is it good? Good drop food. Oh, it is so juicy. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I'm so impressed, Steve. I'm so sorry you're not eating right now. Mmm. Got freaking crunch. Move over, KFC. Jolly Bee's coming for you. It's a family pan of pasta. A lot of sauce and cheese on top. Jimmy loves it. And so. there's hot dogs in it. <laughs> there's hot dogs in the bottom. Oh my god. It's like a New York street vendor got drunk and just decided to make his own like concoction. Yeah. Yeah. New York Italian. Let's see. Holy. Oh, sorry. Wow. Sorry, Mr. Italian. Sorry to your nana. <laughs> you like it. It's like it. so wrong and so right at the same time. Let me taste it one more time with a hot dog. I gotta. That is just such an absurd thing. Pasta a hot dog? The sauce is sweet. Half of me just like loves it, and half of me is just like, what the hell am I eating? I feel like it broke my tongue. Yeah, that's actually a really good way to describe it. Like, <laughs> I, I, I honestly have no idea. It tastes good. Well, last but not least, Gokji is gonna try the peach mango pie, which is also super famous here. It's very sweet. It doesn't make me feel as good as pasta does, so I'm just gonna go back to that. <laughs> So we weren't sure really what to expect when we were coming here, and it's definitely surprised us a little bit for sure. Good does it smell in here? Amazing, wow. It's really, really like, I wanna eat everything. <laughs> and we are back to Europe. Well, it feels like it anyways. 